<laughs> Pie says pie pal. <laughs> I'll leave that in. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I'm too, it's too, too low down. There we go. I smell like it. Oh, I need that. You won't believe this. Oh, I just kicked the base. Hey, it's Magnus here, and today we are going to be cutting this in half. A combination lock. I have always been really curious what's inside. I'm thinking it's some sort of like, some sort of discs, you know, like layers or something. But I really don't know. We'll put it on the water jet cutter like this, and we will cut along like that. And fingers crossed, we don't lose any parts and it all goes smoothly. You won't believe this. It's only 20 minutes since I cut this. And have a look at this. Look at that right there. Hopefully you can focus in on that. Can you see that? That is rust. So this padlock is starting to rust within 20 minutes. Anyway, as you can see, it cut very well indeed. Better than I thought it would. I thought all the pieces were gonna go everywhere and I was gonna lose them because I, I was I'm pretty sure there was pieces inside. If we take it apart, I'll show you it coming apart. So we do this. There we go. So on one side, when I took it off the water jet cutter, there was a couple of pieces inside. You'll probably be able to see them there. Here's a couple of them or a couple of halves, should I say. So obviously that's to do with the mechanism. Have a look at the, have a look at the cross section of it. So as you can see, this, this metal thing, you know the actual dial? I thought that was plastic. It turns out it's metal, like, that's actually metal. The inside uh, spindle is metal, up here's metal. Everything here is metal, I don't think. No, there's not a single bit of plastic in this. Even the dial itself, which I thought was plastic, this dial here is actually fully metal and it's a painted or some sort of some sort of coating on there to give it the numbers and the black look. So obviously we've got this that can spin. So we'll have a look there. So even though there's solid metal on the on the dial and the spindle and up here sort of where the mechanism is there's still a layer of like thin metal all around it you know like the thin the casing is is thin which is quite quite interesting and i believe it's it's stainless steel as well they said i think i, I think they said on the packaging you can probably see how the how the dial is held in as well so you can see like i can't actually pull that off this disc right here 
fits inside this bit here. So I should be able to take it off just to have a look. Twist it all the way around. There we go. So you can see that it's actually quite it's actually quite solid. The other half of it is is pretty much the same. As you can see, just just a, a, another bit of the disc, another bit of disc coming out, and oh, actually, it's not the same. Have a look at this. Inside, right in there. Hopefully, you can see it. Is the other part of this. So this is that's what goes in and out. So it's a little bit different. So that's the bit there and just comes in and out like a normal padlock. Hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. Look out for the next one.